Let's build a multi-unit rental lot in every single world in The Sims 4. This is part seven, and we're building a trailer park for up and coming celebrities in Del Sol Valley. Before we get started, I just wanted to announce that I now have an EA supporter creator code. You can use code Dr. Ashley at checkout on any of your purchases on thesims.com or on the EA app, and 5% of your purchase will go towards supporting me and my channel. Better me than two EA, am I right? Thank you to the EA creator network for the code, and a huge thank you to all of you for always supporting my channel. Here we are in Del Sol Valley. Now, as you can see, we are in the more suburban area as opposed to the city or those nice luxurious mansion lots on the hills. So I thought this would be a good lot and a good neighborhood for an up and coming celebrity, whether you're trying to make it as an actor or a stand up comic or an influencer. I think Del Sol Valley was definitely missing some cheaper housing options. Not to mention this lot is huge. It's a 50 by 40 lot. And if you look at all the other houses in the neighborhood, it wouldn't really be the vibe if we put a huge mansion on this lot so I'm not really sure what the Sims team intended for this lot but I also noticed there's like three perfect driveways that happen to go onto this lot they even put a little bit of the concrete already pre-built on the lot so it's almost as if they were hinting at the fact that they wanted this to be a trailer park I also saw this comment from Ivy Swain and they said I'd love to see a trailer park in Del Sol Valley where every trailer gets its own aesthetic maybe one that's cutesy and one that's run down I think they could be a good starter home for someone who wants to make it big but is starting from the ground up and this comment I got 215 likes, so I thought it was a pretty safe bet. I expect at least 215 of you will be happy and hopefully thumbs up this video. And Ivy wasn't the only one vouching for this trailer park. There were quite a few of you guys that suggested this. So thank you everybody for your amazing suggestions as usual. Please do leave a comment down below what world we should tackle next and what type of multi-unit rental lot we should do. I'll have the map up on the screen right now to show which worlds we've already done. And as per usual, if this is your first time here, I'll link the entire for rent playlist down below so you can catch up on the entire series thus far. And with that being said, let's get started on our Del Sol Valley trailer park. But first, don't forget to have your beverage ready. I'm still on the no-name brand sparkling water train. What about you? Okay, I genuinely think the most important part about this build is going to be the staging. And what I mean by that is the structure of the trailer themselves aren't going to be anything extravagant looking, obviously. So it's really going to come down to the landscaping and my ability to make this look like a very lively trailer park. And I think I'm going to be using a ton of debug in this build. To start off, I've just connected these driveways with a U-shaped road. In fact, I might actually connect it to this back alley section as well. Now, here here is where debug comes into play. So there are actually a ton of trailers like in the debug section. You can actually see them on some of these default lots in the background here. And as you know, the debug menu just completely stresses me out and I hate looking through it. So a little tip that I have is to just go to the gallery to look for debug objects. I just downloaded these five rooms from Chili 8D on the gallery. So now that they're in my library, I can just place them down like so and not have to rummage through the debug catalog. Okay, here are all the debug trailer objects I wanna use. I also grabbed some of these debug trucks so I'm just gonna place them around the lot to kind of set the scene okay that's already looking pretty cute and we haven't even put any real structures yet so now I'm gonna go in with some of my own trailers on top of these like trailer mounts so I'm gonna make the shape of the trailer on the ground first and then I'm gonna duplicate it and put it on the second floor with that second floor piece I'm gonna drag it over top of my trailer right here so it remains on the second floor kind of floating like that we can delete this first floor piece we don't need that anymore now we're just gonna click on our second floor piece and and drag it down so it's in line with the trailer. Right there like that should be actually perfect so it looks like it's sitting on top of it. Okay, now on the inside, you will notice that the tires clip in. So I'm gonna convert this to the medium wall height and then raise this up on a platform maybe twice like that so that the clipping disappears. And there is our first trailer home shell. I think it looks pretty sweet. I'm just gonna repeat the process for this one and I'll be right back. For this one, I thought it would be fun to have a little wraparound balcony moment just to make it a little bit more luxurious. I also wanna go in with some more mobile home structures too, like these ones aren't being pulled by a truck. And let's go with another wraparound balcony, why not, right? <laughs> And then we will do a couple of those on this side too. So it's like a full blown community here. Okay, here are the bones of our trailer park so far. So we have two kind of trailer style homes here and then three mobile homes. So five units total that you can rent out, which I think will make for a pretty lively gameplay. Like you'll have a nice little community going on. For roofing, there aren't a ton of options to be honest, just because these shapes are a little bit basic, but I'm gonna try my best to make all of them a little bit different. I think a very typical way to roof a trailer is to do the kind of like rounded roof piece like this. Oh, I'm also very excited for the opportunity to use this 
bay window from the laundry day pack. As we probably all know, this beautiful bay window only comes in medium wall height, so I only get to use it on the rare chance that I use medium wall heights like today. For the mobile homes, I think I'm gonna end up roofing them pretty similar just because when I was looking at like trailer parks and mobile home parks, usually all of the homes tended to be like a copy paste of one another. So I think at the minimum, they should look like they were bought from like the same catalog or developer and have like some similarities. It could be nice to include this stilt foundation from the for rent pack as well. I feel like that seems kind of realistic for a mobile home. Okay, that looks nice and uniform. Now for this mobile home on this side, I'm gonna do something similar, but I I also want to have like a pergola or some sort of awning coming off of this side because there's more balcony space. I was thinking about using this desert awning from the Desert Lux kit, especially since Del Sol Valley is kind of based around LA and California. This might be like the LA vibe. Okay, that looks interesting, I suppose. I don't know if I like it or not, but we're gonna keep it for now. Let's move on to roof our final trailer. For this one, maybe we'll do like a curved roof here and make it as shallow as possible. For the trailer doors, I'm definitely using these ones from Strangerville. They're absolutely perfect and pairing them with this industrial metal staircase from Get to Work. Okay, now for the fun part, which is choosing the colors for all of these homes. Perhaps this one can have like a converted container home vibe to it. This light sage green metal wallpaper from Growing Together is really pretty. Let's use this one for sure. And these wall mounted air conditioning units from the 4Rent pack are perfect. We have to put this on every single one. I also want to go in with some of these pretty white Moschino windows as well. And then also some of these planter boxes by the window. These are from City Living. This is starting to look kind of pretty. I'm like pleasantly surprised. Now I want to go in with these toddler stuff pack fairy lights. I think that will really bring it all together. I'm also going in with some of these base game rocks sized up just underneath the balcony here just to give it a little bit more structural integrity because it's kind of floating at the moment. And here is our first trailer all done. We went for this like sage green tone on tone vibe with white accents. Honestly, it looks like low key luxurious, which I mean, classic, leave it to me to make everything look luxurious when it doesn't need to be. But let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's awesome, but let's move on to the next one. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna go for like a white and like orangey wood vibe. I'm also adding these drain pipes from Get Together which I think are really pretty. It would also be kind of cute to add like this satellite dish. This one is from Strangerville. They need to get that optimal signal for their TV, okay? And then to catch the water from this drain, I wanna put a bucket underneath. I think I'm gonna use this one from Cottage Living. Just small little details to make it feel more realistic. There is also this like extra space here underneath the tree that's unoccupied. So I was thinking maybe we could put a tent out here. Maybe in the hot summer nights, it's cooler to sleep outside or if they have a friend that wants to stay over and there's not enough room, in the trailer, they could sleep out here. And of course, to zhuzh it up a bit, I'm gonna add some more of these fairy lights to make it look more inviting. I swear, these fairy lights are like the solution to all problems. <laughs> okay, I decided to just go all out and go all the way and bring in the fire pit as well because, you know, why not? But with that being said, here is our second trailer all done with a bonus campground. I think this trailer contrasts really nicely against the first green one. And once again, it has that subtle touch of luxury slash upscale vibe so you can probably tell that I'm the one that made it. <laughs> For this mobile home, I'm thinking this base game white horizontal slats and then perhaps like a colorful shutter. Now I do want to add some of these solar panels to the roof here. This is a sustainable trailer park, you guys. Okay, that's going to be it for this mobile home. It's pretty basic, but I don't mind it. I also just realized that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit a full bathroom in every single one of these units. So just in case, I'm going to add a public restroom somewhere on the lot. I'm thinking this corner right here. Also, before I forget, I should add this mailbox. This one is from the For Rent pack and it has tons of slots right here would be perfect. Now we do have this large patch of grass here, which I think would be fun for some activities, perhaps like a barbecue area. Maybe they have like community dinners and everyone cooks or brings a dish like potluck style. Let's put a trash bin right here and then that's gonna be it for our outdoor barbecue space. This lot is starting to shape up really nicely. I can tell that it's gonna be a really like functional community and a functional space for your gameplay, which makes me really excited. So let's finish off with these last two mobile homes. Okay, here's what I've 
I've done for the final two mobile homes, I really wanted to go for that copy paste look. So these ones are identical except for the wall color. So I started off with this base game horizontal wall slat and then just went around with some of these seasons, windows and doors. So these are extremely simple, nothing too out there whatsoever, but I think this really captures the like mobile home aesthetic. I also like how the crisp white makes these look like brand new. Like I imagine out of all of the homes in this trailer park, these ones were just plopped in like a month ago. I also made some other changes. First of all, I made the roof of this one orange just because it was looking kind of bland with just a black roof. And then I also made this one completely pink. I'm really trying to imagine the different up and coming celebrity personalities that would live in these homes. So I thought that we needed an ultra feminine and girly pink one. Like there's gotta be something here for everybody. So pick your trailer home, I want the pink one. <laughs> Now let's just go in with some finishing touches. I'm just adding some of this terrain paint to act as our pathways. And then over by the trailer, since it's not really official, I'll go in with some dirt instead. There's quite a lot of street space on this lot, so why don't we put down one of these basketball hoops from City Living. With the City Living pack, we also got this garage sale stand, which I think would be perfect in case any of these residents wanna have like a little sale. Maybe they have a little side hustle and they're trying to bring in some extra income while they're working on their acting career. Maybe I'll put three of them like this in case they wanna have like an official little market and people from these houses can come in through the back. And then of course, we need to add some fairy lights to make it more welcoming. <laughs> that looks so cute. I'm really happy I did that. I don't think I've ever done like a little market before. Now I was also thinking we could have a community garden along this sidewalk here. Just these planters from base game should do the trick. But here's the exterior of our trailer park slash mobile home community all done. I'm literally obsessed with how this turned out. I have never done a trailer park or anything remotely like this before. So I'm really proud of how it looks. I'm especially happy with all of the different activities that are on this lot. It just makes it feel like such a nice functional community here. Let me know which home you like best and also let me know if I missed any activities that might work in this space because then I'll be able to add those features really quickly before I upload this to the gallery. But. Let's keep going. So each one of these trailer homes is going to be catered towards a different artistic career path. So here's what I've decided for each one. This trailer in the corner is going to be for an aspiring actor. This green trailer home over here is going to be for an aspiring fashion photographer. I imagine that on the side, they're also doing like paparazzi pics. Now in the pink mobile home down here, this is going to be for a YouTuber or like a lifestyle vlogger or something like that. This one over here is going to be for an aspiring music producer or musician. And then finally, this home will be for some pro gamer streamers. So I hope that's going to be a good spread of different careers and one of these homes will fit your sims needs, but I personally love all of these careers and if the interiors turn out nice, I might actually end up using this lot. So let's get started. Let's start on the lifestyle vlogger home first. So I've already included the video making station. This item is essential for the career and this career comes from the Get Famous expansion pack. I also completely forgot that these are actually just tiny homes, so we're going to be lucky if we can even fit the essentials in here, you guys. I'm trying to channel like peak 2000. 2008 beauty guru lifestyle guru era when everyone had like pink wallpaper and a pink bedspread. Do you guys remember that era where every beauty guru setup was like at the foot of their bed with the camera facing this way and their beautifully made bed and bedroom like blurry in the background? Because we basically have no space, I'm thinking of just adding a curtain here and then opening up the wall so it feels more open concept. I'll just grab this season spandrel to open up the wall there and then draw a portion of the wall back so only a part of it is open. I'm thinking we can probably fit the video making station here and still have room for a bed. I'm leaning towards this cute bubbly one from the pastel pop kit. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be enough room. I think we're gonna be fine here. Maybe grabbing these classic white poof end tables from Tiny Living as well. And then for dresser, it's gotta be super small. So this skinny one from high school years would work perfectly. Let's go with one of these fluffy high school years chairs. For some reason, beauty gurus never have a comfortable chair. Like gamers, we like to be comfortable. But when you're a beauty guru, it's more about the aesthetic. Now let's go in with some wall decor. I'm gonna include a high school diploma, but maybe not a university diploma because from what I remember, a lot of beauty gurus made it really big when they were like 15, 16 years old. So then they ended up not going to university because they already had like full-blown careers by the time they're 17. I imagine they receive quite a bit of PR, but at the same time, not too much because this is supposed to be like an up and coming social media star. So maybe they're not like millionaire influencer status quite yet, but you know, they have a lot of potential. They're doing pretty well. And that's gonna be it for our beauty guru slash lifestyle vlogger bedroom and office. It has all of the essentials, not gonna lie. I would 1000% 
live in this bedroom. Okay, here's where things are gonna get a little bit tricky because we have to fit a kitchen, bathroom, and perhaps a living room of sorts in this tiny space. Let's start out with our tried and true dream home decorator counters to make a tiny kitchen in the corner here. And I know it's kind of taboo to like cover up this large window with an appliance, but like, like what are you gonna do about it, okay? Come at me. Now, instead of cabinets, let's go with some open shelves from the base game. I'm pretty sure we can fit a TV on this wall, so let's go with this frame one from the Modern Lux kit. Okay, here is the tiny living room I've made. So I just used this couch from the Pastel Pop kit, mainly because it's teeny tiny. Like you can fit one, maybe two small people on this couch, so I think it's perfect. And then I just built a DIY kind of entertainment center using these cabinets and modular cubes from the Dream Home Decorator pack. And yes, they do match the kitchen swatches. But that is all I'm going to attempt to fit in this tiny space. Now I'm just gonna work on the bathroom and maybe find something for this corner. For the bathroom, I'm just gonna use items from Growing Together and Tiny Living, just going for that like modern basic aesthetic. Disclaimer, none of the bathrooms in any of these trailer homes are gonna be anything special, I don't think. As long as we can even get a bathroom to fit in each one of these, I think that'll be a win. <laughs> I'm running into the issue where all of these mirrors are too tall and they're like overlapping with the window. So I think a fun workaround would be to grab this leaning mirror from the modern Lux kit because it doesn't really overlap with the window. Place it there and then just drag this vanity out a little bit. It's a fun workaround and kind of feels like the type of thing a lifestyle vlogger girly would think of. And then to tie it all together, let's grab another one of these cloud overhead lights. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden so obsessed with this cloud light. It just feels so youthful and fun to me. In this corner, we have just enough space to put a computer desk, but this area will be separate to the video making station we have in the bedroom because here is where you can like research trends and do all of your social media stuff, whereas the other object is strictly for filming and editing videos. And I also wanna show you guys that I added these two lounge chairs on our balcony here because the influencer girlies, they love a good lounge chair, okay? And with that being said, here is our first mobile home all done, perfect for a beauty guru, lifestyle vlogger, influencer girly. I am legitimately shocked at how much I love this. Like it doesn't feel that small to me. The space feels extremely functional and also super realistic. You can tell that the person who lives here is dreaming big and just living their best life. Even though they live in a modestly sized home, they're still working super hard to be successful in their career. And I absolutely love that. Also, can we just acknowledge that I made like a colorful pink home and didn't make a big deal out of it? Like a year ago, I would have been cringing at this much color in a build, but I feel like it's not a big deal anymore. Okay, but that's one down. Let's move on to our next one. Next up, we have the aspiring fashion photographer in this green home. The fashion photography career is a freelance career and it comes with the Moschino stuff pack, which is also where all of these items are from. I thought it would be cool to include this career in this trailer home neighborhood because a lot of times when we think of Hollywood, we think of the people who are on the other side of the camera, but I'm sure there's just as many people that move to LA to try and pursue a career behind the camera. And I also thought it would be fun that maybe in their spare time to make ends meet, they're also doing paparazzi photos. So I'm gonna be using mainly items from the Messino stuff pack in this house. And unfortunately this photo studio area does take up a ton of space. So we might not get a living room here. Let's make sure we also include the studio light this person has all of the best equipment. This tiny room here is gonna be our bedroom. Now, would it be cool or not cool if we kind of expose the bedroom and raise it up on a platform? Because we are kind of trying to go for that like studio loft feel. Maybe we just partially open it up like that and then raise it up by like two floors. Add the matching staircase right here. And I don't know, I feel like that looks kind of good, right? For the bed, I want a simple loft feel. So I'm thinking this one from the seasons pack. And of course, let's try and use as much of the Moschino stuff pack as possible, like this end table. And also sizing down this huge artwork set to really make a statement. I really love this glowy mirror from Spa Day, but it would be super annoying to have in your bedroom. So we just have to imagine that you have the option to turn it off at night. For the rug, we do have a Moschino option, but I actually wanna try this one from the Fitness Stuff Pack. Okay, that's probably gonna be it for our super simple bedroom. One last thing I do wanna add to the studio area is this wall-mounted speaker. I just imagine while you're having your photo shoots, you're gonna want the energy super high and the music blasting. Okay, this tiny corner is what I've set aside for our kitchen, and I'm thinking of using the base game industrial kitchen set. I do hope your expectations are fairly low for this kitchen because I mean, look at, look at how small it is, you guys. We have the essentials, you guys. We mustn't complain, okay? <laughs> for overhead lighting, I'm just gonna go in with this track light from the Get to Work pack. And with that being said, here is our tiny kitchen all done. There's not much to it, you guys, but it is a fully functional kitchen. So I say we have successfully ticked off that box. <laughs> Last but not least is the bathroom, and I'm gonna use these matching wall and floor tiles from Growing Together. 
And since this home is inspired by the Moschino Stuff Pack, I think it would be a fun idea to make our custom walk-in shower using this Moschino Stuff Pack room divider. And as a reminder, all you need to do is size down this divider twice and then press the control 9 key 13 times. That will bring this divider exactly on top of the first one. I just put down a bath mat and some hand towels from the base game, and there is our modern bathroom all done. Okay, at the last minute, I decided to swap out their end table for this tiny parenthood desk because I realized they didn't have a formal workspace. And then I also added this little patio set out here since we didn't have room for a dining room inside. And here is the second trailer home all done, perfect for an up and coming fashion photographer slash side hustle paparazzi. Once again, I am surprised at how we were able to use the space and make it completely functional and even fit this like massive photo shoot area. And I think it really helps to tell the story of the sim, like they're grinding so hard on their career, they'd rather have a full blown photo studio than a living room. But please let me know down below if you think I missed anything in this trailer home. And also, would you guys live here? Yes or no? But let's move on to the next one. Okay, this trailer home right here is gonna be for our aspiring actor. I think this is gonna be one of our more challenging homes to do here just because it's only four tiles wide, like it's really skinny. I basically have no choice but to put the bathroom at the back corner here and then where, where are we gonna put the bedroom? Please help. Perhaps I can try a similar technique as the beauty guru home and section this space off with a curtain. These curtains are from Cats and Dogs and the spandrel is from the Horse Ranch expansion pack and I'm kind of digging the like rustic vibe. In the corner here, we are gonna have to go with a single bed. I'm sorry, it was bound to happen, okay? Not everyone gets to sleep in a big bed, okay? It's just reality. For the end table, I'm using this reclaimed wood end table. Where is it even from? I don't know. I think it's from the Growing Together pack, I'm pretty sure. Nothing about this table to me is screaming growing together but you know that that's that's where the table's from <laughs> genuinely no shade but the aesthetic of the growing together furniture is just so random to me like when you line up all of the furniture in the catalog it's just i, I don't know what's going on <laughs> okay as you can see i'm working on the bathroom here and i'm just going for like a eco vibe i'm really trying to lean into the fact that this is a repurposed shipping container and you might be wondering what does repurposing a shipping container have anything to do with wanting to become an actor and the answer is nothing People can have multiple interests at once. This person is really into saving the environment and becoming an actor, okay? Here is our basic bathroom all done. I just added some items from the bathroom clutter kit. Now, I do want to make sure that I have enough room for some skill building activities. The acting career comes with the Get Famous expansion pack and you advance through the career by getting gigs. Each gig requires a different set of skills and from my experience, the main skills are charisma, fitness, and guitar. Guitar and charisma are easy, we just need to place a guitar and a mirror, but it's the fitness skill that I'm a little bit worried about. If we put the weight machine right there, that's not like the worst thing in the world, you can still close it off if someone comes over, and then we can put a stand-up mirror in this corner. I'm also making sure to scatter these documents everywhere to look like scripts. I imagine the sim is like constantly memorizing lines for auditions and stuff like that. For the kitchen, I went with this more rundown set from City Living. Everything so far has been looking pretty pristine, and I'm sure you guys want to see some more grunge in character. I think I like this idea. I changed all of the counters to island counters and faced them inward so I could wrap them around and create kind of like a breakfast bar looking outward. And then to go along with the eco theme, I can fill this back section with plants. And yes, I do have to manually raise all of these up myself. So once I've placed them, don't move them, okay? <laughs> And here is our planty breakfast nook all done. I absolutely love it to be honest. I think I'm gonna try and put perhaps a small seating area over here by the window now. What if I put like this super skinny console table and put a small TV on it? And then we'll grab this Wicker Whims love seat from the laundry day pack. It's pretty low profile. And here's what I have for the living room. I just placed this tiny living coffee table with this laundry day rug. And then I went ahead and cluttered up all of these surfaces with more stacks of scripts and also a bunch of clutter from the everyday clutter kit. Now in the bedroom, I just added this woven rug and some wall decor from the Eco Lifestyle pack. This one in particular, I thought was cool. It's made out of like recycled materials. So I thought it really fit the theme here. And with that being said, here is our repurposed container home trailer all done. Perfect for an up and coming actor. I was the most nervous for this one just because the shape was really skinny. I thought this one was gonna be like the worst one, but I think it might actually be my favorite. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Would you live here? Yes or no? And let's move on to the next one. It is time to work on the DJ slash music producer mobile home. Oops. No, I spilled. Okay, I just spilled sparkling water on my shirt there. So if you're wondering what that dot is, it's a no-name brand sparkling water. 
So the music production career operates very similarly to the media production slash YouTuber career in our first mobile home. The career comes with the Get Famous expansion pack and you need this music production station to make your tracks. You can record your music on the station and then you can edit them, remix them, all that, and then send them off to labels. And then over time you will get fame and royalties from that. And there's also this object here, which is the DJ booth station. And that's from the Get Together expansion pack. Now I'm pretty sure there's no like official DJ career path with this item, but you can create and sell mixtapes at this DJ booth and you can level up your skill. So when you go to clubs, you can actually man the DJ booth and receive tips while you're DJing, kind of like busking. So I think this is a pretty solid duo, like this sim came to LA to try and make a name for themselves producing their own music, but on the side, they also like DJ at the local clubs. It's giving James Kennedy from Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> it would be pretty sweet if they had like a full blown recording studio in their house with these like soundproof panels. Let's put these tinted black windows from Spa Day. This looks really official. <laughs> and we'll put this one way mirror window on this side. So like the producers can sit on this side and then the recording can happen in the studio. That looks so legit. I guess we should just include like all of the instruments in case this person is just like a general musician. This is the vibe so far. I lined up a few guitars, this electronic keyboard, and also this more intense DJ station. And then on this side, which is like the producer side, I have the music production station. And then I think I do have have room for these huge speakers from the Discover University pack. Let's put some more wall-mounted speakers in the recording studio as well. These ones are from the Spa Day pack, and I do believe glowy mood lighting is the way to go, so I'm gonna grab this one from Moschino. I will be changing the tint of this to a different color in live mode later, just because I don't think pink is necessarily the vibe here. And it probably wouldn't hurt to go in with these glowy lights from high school years as well. I just want it to be super moody in this room. <laughs> I am extremely happy with our recording studio for our up-and-coming music producer. I mean, can we even really call this person up and coming? They have like $20,000 worth of equipment here. But anyways, that being said, I have kind of shot myself in the foot because I've left basically no room whatsoever to have a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And I guess living room is out of the question at this point. Okay, this is by no means ideal, but it will work. So down here is gonna be our bathroom, and this here is gonna be our tiny bedroom. So in order to get to the recording studio, yes, you do have to pass through the bedroom, which in my opinion is totally fine, and it's kind of cool. This tiny little sliver over here is gonna be our kitchen. Trust the process, you guys, this is gonna work. Okay, here is the bathroom all done. I have the Discover University shower, the city living sink vanity, high school years mirror, and the fitness stuff pack toilet. You guys are probably sick and tired of watching me do bathrooms. You guys have seen a enough bathrooms in this video, I'm sorry. How badly do I want to put an air mattress in this room right now? <laughs> Like maybe this isn't even supposed to be a bedroom. It's supposed to be a hallway, but this person converted it into their bedroom because they're so desperately trying to make their music production career happen. They work so hard all the time, they end up just sleeping at the studio. And is it just me or has anyone else been waiting their whole life to use this piano rug from City Living? It rarely fits the aesthetic of my builds, but today is it's time to shine. But I think that's all I'm gonna be putting in the bedroom. They have a place to sleep and they have a place to sit. So, you know, it's good enough. Something about this compact kitchen is just screaming mini fridge to me, so we're gonna go with the Discover University fridge. Let's use the Home Chef Hustle appliances in the black swatch and also use the matching open shelving. I also wanna give them a microwave because I feel like they're the type of person that would be eating a lot of quick meals because this kitchen is kind of squishy, so it's not like it's the most welcoming space to wanna to spend your time in. And oddly enough, these record boxes from the basement clutter kit actually snap to the shelves here, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of them. And here is our skinny, skinny common area space all done. I just added some base game essentials by the doorway here, as well as this tiny living console table with this Moschino mirror. But with that being said, here is our tiny mobile home, perfect for an up and coming music producer, all done. So please let me know what you guys think of it. I really hope your up and coming music producer sim loves this and is okay with the fact that they have no living room and barely any bedroom, but instead have a fully decked out music production studio. Moving on to our final mobile home, and this home is gonna be for two professional gaming streamers. What's unique about this home is I actually managed to fit two separate bedrooms in here, just to give you some more flexibility for your gameplay. I noticed all of the other mobile homes so far have only been one bedroom unit. 
credits. The streaming career comes with the high school years expansion pack, so I imagine that these two sims are still in high school and have somehow made it big as professional streamers in their teenage years. As you can see, I mainly used items from the high school years pack and the pastel pop kit, and I tried to go for two separate aesthetics in each bedroom, with one of them being like this darker black and green color scheme and the other one being pastel. For the bathroom, I wanted to make it really colorful and youthful. I imagine these two teens bought peel and stick wall tiles from Amazon to make their bathroom more fun. And then in the common spaces, I just went for this base game kitchen with an island since we didn't have room for a dining table. And we were lucky enough to be able to fit this small living room. I love this couch, it's from the book nook kit. Everything else is pretty much from the high school years pack and this tiny living TV. Overall, I love how messy it looks. It's definitely giving teenager vibes. And I also think this is a pretty flexible floor plan if you wanted to move in a small family here instead. You could totally do that and maybe change up the wallpaper in the bathroom. Well, you guys, that's gonna be it for our mobile home slash trailer park in Del Sol Valley for Sims who are up and coming in the industry. This was such a fun project and not gonna lie, this took like two and a half days to film. So if you guys enjoyed it, please, please, please do give it a thumbs up so I know that my effort's not wasted. <laughs> A huge thank you to those of you who have left comments in past videos that have helped inspire these episodes. I know I say it every time, but I cannot stress this enough. I could not do this without your guys' support and suggestions, so thank you. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these homes is your favorite and also what we should do next. I'm still having a ton of fun with this series and I really hope you guys are too. I can't wait to see you guys next week. And as usual, I hope you guys all have a very, very, very above average day. Love you.